Are you finding it hard to feel Christmassy this year? I know I speak lots about positivity and gratitude and finding the positive within all of the other stuff that's going on, but are you just really struggling? Hi, my name is Greg Simpson and it is day 19 of our video advent calendar. That means there are only six days left until Christmas and yet there are an awful lot of people who are really struggling to get excited, to feel Christmassy, to get their hearts and their minds into the spot they usually would be. And that makes quite a bit of sense. And so for day 19, I thought as we opened the virtual door of our advent calendar, we would look inside at some of the garbage that's going on in our lives and in our hearts and in our minds and see if we can make sense of any of it. I've had chances to speak with people who are really struggling this year. Not just Christmas time, but I would say the last three, four months, everything's been a lot harder for them. Now, of course, so a lot of this started in March, and we know that that's very different, but back then it was new and unknown, and there are still a lot of unknowns, but somehow this fall has felt harder. Some of the things that people report to me that they're struggling with are they really can't focus or they're easily distracted or their sleep patterns are really out of whack. Either they're sleeping way more than they used to or they just can't seem to sleep at all. People's diets and appetites are out of whack as well. You've got some people who just can't seem interested in food whatsoever and then other people who eat pretty much everything in sight. There's a lot of just changes in body and mind and emotion. And the more people I spoke to, I started to see some patterns. Now, this is just my own personal experience. I've done no studies and no statistical analysis, but the more of these symptoms, these feelings, the more of what I hear from people, the more I clued in to this might be grief. Now, we normally only associate grief with losing a loved one, and that is a very, very valid time to discuss grief, but grief happens anytime there's a change. There are even, there's even grief in good changes. Thinking about um, kids going away to post-secondary education, we are all excited for them, and they're excited for themselves, but in the midst of all that change, they are grieving as well. Think about going from being a single person to being married, or, or going from living by yourself to living with a loved one. Those are lovely changes, but you have to take time to grieve the loss and grieve the change. I don't think we're talking much about grieving what has changed in 2020 and what will continue to change and will be different. And I think that Christmas is highlighting a lot of that for us in ways we're not giving ourselves chances to think about. A lot of us won't get to see all the same people as we would every year. And for some of us, that's the only time each year that we see some of these people, that we get connected with those family or those friends. Take time for yourself to grieve. To be aware that all of these changes have dramatic impact on your emotional health, on your mental health, and those two things can very easily impact your physical health as well. Take a look at the way that you as a person behave and respond to things differently than before. Are you finding yourself more irritable than before? That can be a pretty common side effect of grief. Do you find that it's harder for you to sort of process the little things that normally wouldn't have been a difficulty for you, that you've just got no headspace left for that next little thing? Are you feeling like there's a lot of, oh really, what's coming next? That can be grief as well. Give yourself some space. Maybe look at how you are being impacted and look inside and see how you're affected, but look at it all through this lens of grief. Maybe do some research for yourself about what grief does to people and how people process it. Grief is a very valid and important part of our lives and how we process change, but getting stuck in grief is really, really hard on us. 
And one of the most obvious ways that people get stuck in grief is not allowing themselves to admit that they're grieving. So as hard as it may be, I invite you to step into your grief if that's what you're feeling. Step into it and be aware of it. Speculate on it and let it happen. Of course things are different and of course that's not fun. That's okay. You're going to be all right. You are going to get through this, but it's going to take some time and it's going to take some hard work in your heart and in your head. You might have to share it with somebody. Perhaps you need to talk to a counselor or a good friend or a minister or somebody who you trust. But I encourage you to spend that time. It's going to be a lot better for you if you can process this in a healthy way. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I know that's a heavier topic than some of these have been, but it feels really, really important to me, so I thought maybe I'd better share it. If you are enjoying these videos, I invite you to click the subscribe button at the bottom, and if you click the little bell beside it, then YouTube will notify you the next time that I upload one of these videos. And if you're liking it, click the thumbs up too. That'd be great. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, friends. I love you all. Bye for now.